Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Here we are on December the 23rd, which is two days before Christmas, and it's getting an awful lot like Christmas around here. Actually, it's very Christmassy here. So I'm at my friend's house doing a bit of dog sitting, those little buggers back there. And if you recall in one of my other videos, we talked about getting some, um, how am I going to charge my car because I live in a condo, also known as a shitty apartment. Uh, that doesn't have a plug-in in in the basement so um what my friend here has allowed me to do is uh plug into her house so because yesterday i picked up a p90d with ludicrous from vancouver uh, tesla they're allowing me to use it while my car is getting cpo'd so here we are now we talked about this is where the laundry room is and how we're going to connect to the dryer plug. Well, the dryer plug is down there. So what I had done is gone to online. I think it's called EVSE, which is a company out of California, and I've ordered an extension cord. So initially, that extension cord was going to go from there through out to through the garage and to the car. I've changed things up a little bit. So it goes now from that plug down there over top of the dryer and down here is the vent that goes to the outside because this is our hot water tank and our furnace not ours hers so uh it goes outside so please walk with me and i will show you what it looks like so here it is oh there's a little bit of snow on the ground it's uh so, all right, so this is the west coast of Canada, the west coast of British Columbia. We don't get a lot of snow, which is good. So, uh, follow me through here, and look at that. There she is, the 2016 Tesla P90D. Walk with me this way. So, what we have here is that it is coming out of that vent there. Running across... And what I have done is I've plugged it into the portable charger that comes with every Tesla. And it's plugged in. Flashing green is good. But I do have a question for you guys. If you guys know anything about charging and electricity and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so initially it's a 40 amp breaker that's in the uh looking after the dryer plug so 40 amps and when initially when i plugged her in yesterday it showed on here that it was a 32 amp so i know that you have to use 80 percent of the breaker and all that kind of stuff and the car sensed that it's 40 amps so it started drawing at 32. uh about an hour later into the charge i noticed that the breaker had broke the breaker had tripped hmm so uh, I've reflipped the breaker and I come out to the car and what I've done here is that I've changed it to 24 amps. So 24 amps out of the possible 32 amps is 240 volts, which is fantastic. I've added 39. But here I am getting 27 kilometers an hour from uh, that charge. So I guess my question to anyone out there that's pretty smart is... Could I bump this up to 32? What caused it to trip? And any other questions I might have? Well, answer my questions before I tell you them. Anyway, so yeah, it's doing all right. I mean, 27 kilometers an hour for me right now is pretty good. It'd be nice to be able to bump it up to 32 amps and possibly get 35 kilometers an hour. Uh, because as you know, if you follow, is that uh, I work 31 kilometers each way uh, away from here. So that's 62 kilometers a day. So how can I boost this? I'm pretty sure, I think this car is, is fully loaded. Uh, so I, I think that it does have a dual charger processor in it, if that makes any sense to you guys. Uh, so my question is, uh, how do I oomph this, uh, this charging speed? The house is older, not ancient, but older. And I did notice that the, the breaker, the 40 amp breaker, is a tiny little thin little black so I'm wondering if I got that replaced with a beefier 
40 amp or does it not matter? Am I talking out of my butt? I don't know. Anyway, please uh, help, help, help. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.